I downloaded a bunch of mods into Minecraft. What could possibly go wrong? You know when you start up a new Minecraft world and there's always a little routine you go by to get things done? Well, the first thing I do is chop some wood, craft basic tools, find a village, find a raccoon, let the little guy go, and then I build a tiny little house by a lake. Then I go mining, reliving that regular Minecraft routine I always go by- Ah, DIE! As you can see, I am about to kill this little guy. This is the danger of sneaking up on me in a cave. I know karate and I am very dangerous. Then I realized that it was just a silly little guy who wanted to trade with me. I got double the iron, he was however a little bit menacing, and the thought of murdering him did cross my mind. After I was done mining, I came across a familiar little guy from before. The raccoon! I gave him a treat, and he did the cutest thing ever. I just knew I had to take him away from his friends and family after that one. God, I'm such a good person. I left him in a hole at home and I humanely walked away thinking of what a good person I am. That's when I found an inn. I had built my base surprisingly close to this place and I was now ready to fight it for the land that I had more recently claimed. This was my land now, my world. I was the leader and they were my citizens. Anyway, walking inside I came across a few wandering traders. Naturally, I stole all their belongings and then left showing them mercy for my tyranny. Though I would be back. I came across another house as well, but was this time met by bloodthirsty monsters, which I quickly killed and stole all of their belongings. I also found a big monster tower, but I knew immediately that I would have to come back there after I had grown more in power. I made a backpack just like you would in regular Minecraft, and I crafted some iron tools. I also realized that it would be more efficient to make my own mine, so I dug a hole in the ground right below me because I... I fear no death. Death. Then, when mining, I came across an intruder. Lorelane the mythical had tried claiming my mine, and I, Ender the Tyrant, would not let that slide. I trapped her, cut her down, and won. Ender was yet again victorious. Then I found diamonds along with a zombie spawner. Look, murder really does give you good luck. I found a few more enemies trying to claim my land, but after I destroyed them, there would be no more attempts. I also found a cave of wolves that I could later add to my army. Alright, must have heard me. When I came back home, I realized that they had surrounded my base. I fought and fought, and in the end, I was victorious. And I laid down in bed to rest my eyes after a long time day of tyranny. The next day I had a plan. I needed a place. A place where I could look over my kingdom and smile at the world which was mine. So the construction for a great tower started, and with the help of a builder's tool it was not too difficult. I also made this cool mob torch, which meant no mobs could spawn within a certain radius, but uh... <laughs> that caused some problems. You see, since no mobs could spawn within the radius of the torch, they all spawned outside of it. As my eyes peered upon the yellow dots on my map, I realized what was waiting for me outside of this bubble of protection. It absolutely did not help that I had a mod which made the zombie spawn more frequent, and also made the zombies faster and smarter, especially at night. While this was absolutely horrifying, it definitely helped with finding Endermen because I needed their great balls. Along with Enderpearls, I also needed wool since I was making an elevator. Traveling up the tower took a long and annoying amount of time, but with elevators that would all change. So I carried some sheep from the great free wilderness into a little hole where I could farm them for wool. I'm not evil. Well. Maybe a little bit. After some terraforming, I would later make them a bigger place to stay to rid my conscience of any guilt and I also made a farm to feed both them and myself. Then, when exploring, I found the greatest thing you could ever find. It was a beautiful little lizard that I took home. I also found a meteorite, but who cares, lizards are better. Now that I was feeling a little bit more powerful, a little more ready, I decided to take on the monster tower. I fought my way through, killed anything that got in my way, and I robbed it of all of its treasure. And the greatest treasure of all of them, the Waystone. If you don't know what a Waystone is, it is the greatest form of travel in the world of me. Place one of these bad boys down and you can immediately travel from one discovered Waystone to the other. I placed it down once I got home and then went to craft the elevators. I placed them and now I could easily travel up and down the tower. Yet another milestone in this modded journey.
That's when I came across a graveyard. Like the great person I am, I broke open some graves and robbed the dead of their belongings. I also went ahead and robbed the main structure for any good loot that it had sashed away. After I so generously freed the dead of any earthly possessions, I decided that it was time to start enchanting. So I made a new floor in my tower after going on yet another nightly expedition to find Enderball for another elevator. Then, not having enough to make enough bookshelves, I decided to open a portal to the nether. And thanks to a mod I added, <laughs> it looked pretty cool. Then I went into the world looking for more bookshelves. I found the tower of a wizard that I happily stole from and then I went back home to finish my enchantment room. I put my pickaxe into the table and nervously I clicked the button that would enchant it. Would it be good? Would it be bad? One press of a button and I would get my answer. It was bad. I did not get fortune. Then I tried again and I only got fortune too. My heart was broken and impatient. If a table would not give me the enchantment that I needed, then I would have to resort to kidnapping. I stole someone from their home, put them in my tower, then I stole someone else and put them in my tower. I would get this enchantment, even if it was the last thing that I did. But uh, yeah, I regretted that statement. I sat there for a long time, destroying it over and over again, and eventually I got mending, which was good. I took it. But then I tried again, and I came to a horrible realization halfway through. I have a mod downloaded which allows me to pick up a few different blocks and mobs, so when I actually I accidentally shift right click the lectern, I realized that I could do this over and over again instead of breaking it, saving me a ton of time. With this new knowledge, I quickly gained access to the fortune tree enchantment and now had the somewhat ultimate pickaxe. Happy, proud, I felt I could now end the first episode of my journey, dying to an intruder on my land. Lana the Gorilla Slaughterer, I will see you next time.